Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is not a car review, it's a tutorial on how to remove the aux port in here and get all the trim out, replace the aux port and put it all back together. This is for, a, obviously it's for the BMW F20 or F21. I couldn't find a single YouTube video how to do this, which is really annoying because when I do like a practical thing or, or anything, I need a video, I need to watch like a hundred times so I know I'm doing it correctly and to not have a video and do this myself blind was really daunting. So I was quite elated when I found out you know, how easy it was and how easy it is going to be for you guys. So yeah, if I can do it, you guys definitely can do it and hopefully I can portray how easy it is in this video. So what are you going to need? You are going to need some 3m tape some like plastic tape and a flathead screwdriver and basically the 3m tape is going to wrap around the on the end and basically that's going to that's going to like protect your trim so when you lever it here which is what you're going to do it's going to protect the trim and not scratch it so that's literally what you need and also one final thing you're going to need it's just five minutes of your time because that's literally that's literally what it's going to take probably not even five minutes if you're super quick so yeah i can't stress enough i'm very impractical and for me to do this blind with no tutorial kind of emphasizes how easy this is so let's get started first of all you need a screwdriver heat and then you're going to need to lever it and you see like this line here I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's like a little line and you're going to lever there. It's literally a bit of welly and it pops open. If you can hear that, it pops open. I'm sorry if you can't see it very well, but it's, it's so easy that you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, and here we go. It just comes out just like that. You've got one cable, which is uh, connected to the aux port and that's it and literally all you need to do is just pull it out there we go let's put a bit of force into it and that will just stay there then the next thing you need to do you see uh, like this here and you got the same on the other side got one over here all you need to do is just pinch it kind of like pinch it on both sides and push at the same time then that will slot out and that's literally it um, the reason I had to get a new aux port was because the speakers on the right side of the car were not playing music but the left side were and it was the faulty aux cable so I've already done this before this isn't like first time I'm just showing you guys how to do it because I couldn't find a single video that's literally it so when you put it back together, you see this little curvature here. You want to have like that part facing like down like that. And then when you put it in, just push, you hear a little click. And then the final part really is you see how oh, there's like a little more of a angle at the top sticks out more which then lines up with this part here and all you need to do is just push it in and that clicks in like that and then the final bit which is really satisfying is line it up and then just push down and that's it that's it that's literally it you you've just done that literally probably like two three minutes it's that simple it's that easy and yeah, that's how you remove the aux port, change it over and then put a new one in. So uh, if you've got any questions or you've got any, uh, you need to ask me questions how to do this, uh, leave a comment down below. Um, if you like cars, uh, please do give my channel a chance and have a look at some of the other videos I do, which are mainly about cars. So if you have enjoyed this, uh, please like, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.